guys! Today I decided to film a February favorites video. Favorite videos are probably my favorite videos to watch. So I decided that I'm going to start creating them once a month at the end of every month. Sorry if you hear stuff in the background. There's some little kids playing right down in front of my window, so... So today the products that I'm going to be talking about are kind of like products that I've been basically using for the past two months. So I would say they're a January and February favorites, which is better because that means that I've been using them for quite a while now and I thoroughly enjoy all of these products. There are quite a few of them. I have a few skincare products and I have a few makeup products and then I even have some jewelry and some perfume as well. So if you guys like this video and you want me to do more of them, please let me know because I really want to start creating them. They're really fun and it's always nice to hear what people genuinely think about products and what their favorites are, especially if you love watching them as a makeup guru and you like to learn from them. Some of my favorites to watch are Jeffree Star's favorite videos, Manny MUA, Nikki Tutorials, and Carly Bibles. Those are like my favorite favorites to watch. I'm gonna start with the jewelry, then the perfume, then the skincare, then the makeup. The jewelry I wanna talk about, where I got my earrings, and these were sent to me as well. This shop is called Shop Cadabra. They sent me some products, which is really funny because last year for the Denver Comic Con when I was going as the Red and Black Suicide Squad Harley, I was actually trying really hard to buy these exact bracelets. They're really nice. They like click. And they're the black and silver ones. I know Harleys are purple and gold, but I obviously was doing a black and red version and these were the ones I wanted but I just couldn't afford them at the time uh, last year. I actually got into contact with the shop manager and she sent me some stuff and those cuffs were included and I am so excited about them. If you guys follow me on Instagram you have seen the cosplay that I want to do this year for Comic Con which is the Injustice Harley Quinn and I'm considering mixing the Suicide Squad and the Injustice Harley Quinn together for just one day at Comic Con and I really want to wear those bracelets and the pudding box black and silver pudding choker that I have. These cuffs are so super cute. They're amazing quality. They're like thick pieces or letters. They're really nicely made. They're handmade. She hand makes her jewelry and I just think they're really great quality and I wanted to show you guys because I really enjoy these right now. I will link her shop down below or some more Harley Quinn stuff. Andy got me these for Christmas. They're Harley Quinn perfumes. They're from Spencer's and they are um, toilettes, which means they're not as strong as a perfume. Basically like sprays, but they smell so good. They smell like strawberries. And I've been wearing them a lot lately, this one more so. This one's just got a sweeter smell to it. They're just really cute as well. The back of it's like a comic book page. They're super cute. They smell really good. And they are pretty inexpensive. Uh, I believe they're about $25, if I'm not mistaken. I saw them and I was like, I want these. And he got me them for Christmas. So they're super fun. Like I said, you can get them at Spencer's. I just saw them there the other day as well. So they are still at Spencer's if you want to go check those out. So next I'm moving into skincare. I do have, it looks like, four products for skincare. First off, I will talk about these. These are Sephora Makeup Removing Wipes. I used to use the Clean and Clear, I believe that's the brand I used. Yeah, the Clean and Clear Makeup Wipes. And they did the job, they got my makeup off, but they always left this weird like film on my face. I usually always rinse or cleanse my face after taking my makeup off with wipes just because you know it does get all the makeup off of the surface but there probably is stuff still in your pores um the foundation and your skin that you didn't get all the way to with the wipes so it always is good to cleanse after you take your makeup off with a makeup removing wipe but sometimes 
I'm a lazy girl and I don't want to, which is great with these wipes because they don't leave a film on my skin. These are the coconut ones. They are hydrating ones um, or coconut water. And they're, they are like, they don't leave my skin dry. Yep, they don't leave my skin feeling oily and gross like some other makeup removing wipes do. I really enjoy these and I've bought a lot. I did try some of the other ones. There are like charcoal ones, there's green tea ones, there's rose ones. And there's a few other ones as well. And I've tried the green tea and the charcoal ones. But honestly, the coconut ones are my favorite. These next three products are all from Fresh. It's a brand called Fresh. I will show you. I think it says right there. And they are a skincare line that I really enjoy like almost too much. Seriously, this stuff is incredible. It's the Sugar Face Polish. And it's basically a exfoliator. But it leaves your skin feeling so soft and moisturized. It's insane. It smells really good. I've used most of it. But as you can see... It has a bit of a grainy texture, and I believe there's strawberries in there. And it smells like lemons to me. Like, I just get this lemony smell. You don't want to exfoliate your skin every single day, uh, but you do want to do it maybe every three to four days. It just helps your makeup go on a lot nicer. Uh, it gets rid of dead skin that's sitting on top of your skin. What's really great about this one is that it actually moisturizes your skin and makes your skin feel really soft and beautiful. I don't know how to explain it, but I was just blown away the first time I ever used it. Loved it. The other one is the Sugar Lip Polish. And this one has brown sugar in it, I do believe. But this stuff is so good too. I wear a lot of liquid lipsticks, so my lips are super dry all the time and living in Colorado. They're extra dry. I usually use this stuff. I only put makeup on like three to four days out of the week. Usually that's the general amount of days that I will put makeup on. And I do use this maybe every day or every other day because it helps my lips and my lips stick look a lot nicer. I have a problem peeling the skin off of my lips because of my anxiety and it them being dry, the weather being dry here in Colorado, all those factors mixed together. My lips are just not the best looking when I put liquid lipstick on without exploiting or putting some kind of like lip balm or something underneath of the liquid lipstick. I always, always, always put lip, lip balm and I usually do the Too Faced lip injections. Like after I get done scrubbing this on my lips and I leave it on for about five to ten minutes, I take it off and then I put the lip injections on from Too Faced. It's like a lip gloss, but I can always feel it like really like plumping up my lips. It's like, like the best time to plump your lips up is after you exfoliate them. It's really going to get in there and I can feel it like like burning. You know how like lip plumper like almost like burns because it's plumping your lips? That's If I don't exfoliate and I just put the Too Faced lip injections on, I don't feel that. But I want to feel that. The next product from Fresh. This is kind of like, I love this whole line from Fresh. It's the Black Tea line. This one is my favorite product out of all of them though. It's the Firming Overnight Mask. Now it is for like firming your skin and I'm all for doing things like that prematurely because I'm only 23 years old but I feel like Doing things like that on an early stage is really helpful because I want to prevent wrinkles and I want to prevent those type of things. And wearing a lot of makeup, taking makeup off my skin, tugging on it, things like that can cause premature wrinkles. And I would like to start things earlier than it be too late and we have wrinkles already that I can't do anything about. And they also have a neck cream and they have an under eye concentrate which I actually really like a lot you just can't use a lot of it it's just like a little bit underneath of your eyes it's so good though I just love it I love all the fresh all the fresh products like their rose line is so amazing as well and they have like a vitamin mask it's just they're all just great I just love it just love it so that's it for skincare. I do use a lot of skincare products and I have a skincare video if you guys are interested in that. 
it is a little ways back I can link it down in the description box if not you can go back and find it it's not too old where I talk about about skincare, what I personally do, and how I take care of my skin. I have a few different foundations that I want to talk about because, like, all of them are amazing, and I've really fallen in love with all of these, and I kind of mix a couple together. But first, I will talk about the primer that I've been loving a lot lately. It's from Hourglass. Sorry, it's blurry. But it's the Veil Mineral Primer. And it's really weird. It's like this, it has like a bluish purple undertone. I don't know if you can see it on here. Oh my gosh, but it's so soft. I had tried this primer maybe two or three years ago and I hated it. I did not like it at all. I don't know why I didn't like it, but I just got it again and I tried it and seriously... It's so nice. It just leaves a smooth layer on your skin. So when you put your foundation on top of it, it's just like this, it's just magical. It's just so nice. I seriously, magic in a bottle. I am so happy that I tried it again. Next is foundation. So I have been using both of these foundations together for like the past two months and it is such a beautiful, flawless coverage when you mix them together. The reason why I started using them together was because the IT Cosmetics CC Cream was just a little too dark for me. And I have these, these are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, so they're not the highlight. They are just foundation drops that you can mix with foundation if your foundation is too dark or too light, and it will makes the perfect skin tone for you basically so that's how I started using them together but it's so nice together especially when you use a beauty blender it's like a beautiful coverage is a CC cream and CC just means like a color correcting that's what it means exactly and it is a full coverage foundation but like I couldn't believe it when I used this I just couldn't this is the shade Light, which is just a little too dark for me, so I think there is one shade uh, before it, and I think it's Fair, and the Cover FX drops are super awesome too. I do have a few foundations that I bought like in the summer that are too dark for me, because that's when I was a little bit more tan, and those drops really help me to be able to use all these foundations that I have that are too dark for me. Now this one I had heard a lot of hype about. Everybody on YouTube was using it and I was like, I've been wanting to try it for so long. It's the Hourglass, the Vanish Stick, and I am shade Vanilla. Now, they weren't lying when they say this foundation is full coverage. This foundation is so crazy. It comes in a stick like this. And I'm going to tell you right now, you don't really need a lot of it. I mean, you can put a lot of it on if you want to, but it is some serious full coverage crap. I couldn't believe it. I use probably, I probably do like three stripes on each side of my face, a couple in the middle, some on my forehead, one on my nose, and a couple on my neck, and blend it together with a beauty blender. You can use just a regular brush, but it is so full coverage that even using a beauty blender, like, it makes this beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today, it's just so, it's really a beautiful coverage. Let me get a little closer. It's so nice. And like the first couple times that I used it, I wasn't sure because when you first put it on, it looks like cakey on your skin. Kept going with my makeup, put concealer on, put powder on, use setting spray. And the setting spray really blended it all together and made it look really flawless and nice on my skin.
honestly, this is like the most full coverage foundation I've ever, ever, ever used in my whole life. And you can build the coverage. So if you don't want it to be too full coverage, just do like a couple dots. Don't do whole stripes. Just do like a couple of dots all over your face. While we are on the foundation subject, I thought I should go ahead and talk about this brush. And I apologize in advance because it's really dirty. I used it a few times and I have yet to clean it because I just got makeup brush cleaner the other day. But it's from the cream shop. It is similar to an Artiste brush. But I had never tried one of these brushes. This is called the OMG brush. On their website so go check it out they sent me a few brushes and I tried all of them they're all amazing and they're very inexpensive and they have amazing quality lashes for only like three or four dollars and I've had these lashes for like weeks now and I'm still rocking them because I'm a disgusting human and I will wear lashes until they literally break and fall apart on me so I highly suggest go going and checking them out the same with their brushes super inexpensive and very nice quality I will link their website and their Instagram down below. I'm sorry for how dirty it is. It is dirty. Ugh. Not cute. Not cute, Sydney. Next product. So everyone talks about the Laura Mercier setting powder. And, um, I liked that powder. I have tried it. It's not my favorite, though. It My grease and my oil did end up coming out, like, after, like, an hour or two of wearing the Laura Mercier one, and I was pretty upset about it because I thought it was supposed to, like, keep your face from doing that, and it didn't. So, I have the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. This stuff is incredible. Oh my gosh. I have used it every day for three months now, I think. And I like to bake with it. It's a really good baking one. It's such a... It's so gorgeous. Oh my god. It just leaves my skin so nice. It doesn't, like, patch up anywhere. It just is... I wear it every single day. So every picture you see me in every video that I post... Every look that I do, I've been using that powder, and it is just incredible. I highly suggest the Kat Von D one. Next product is from LA Splash Cosmetics. I do have a code with them. If you want to save 15% off of your order, you can totally use it. If not, I still suggest going and buying stuff from them because they're liquid lipsticks. They have tons of beautiful cover colors, super inexpensive. And they just sent me their new Ultra Defined Brow Mousse. This is what it looks like. It is not as thick as the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. It really is like a mousse kind of texture. It's like, it's like soft. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade though for most of you who have used it, you know that it does dry out and it is kind of like a thick consistency. But, like, I don't have any hairs in the front of my brows. Like, starting right there, like, that's where my hairs begin. So I draw fake hairs in the front and this stuff is... It's so easy to create those fake hairs with this stuff. It is... This stuff is magical and it's waterproof. That's what it looks like. There's, like, six different colors, I believe. And I am in the color Dahlia, which is a dark brown, but it mostly matches the black part of my hair. I will link my code down below if you want to save 15% off. I would appreciate it. It would help me out a little bit. If not, still go check them out. The Stila one. This one is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I am personally more of a fan of felt tip liners like this. I'm so sorry to say, but I don't like the Kat Von D tattoo liner or the whatever one, the Trooper one that everybody loves. That one just dries out way too fast for me, and I'm personally not a fan of it. It's not as black and opaque as I want it to be, but this Stila one is so dark. That's just one swipe. One little swipe, and that's what I have on my eyes today. I really love this eyeliner. I also got the new Marc Jacobs. This is the Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon, and this is in the color 
fine wine. Was so happy when I got this because you really don't see a lot of red eyeliners. And I am one who thoroughly enjoys putting red in my waterline. And I usually use like a lip liner for that, which isn't very good because not all lip liners are made for your eyes, especially red ones. But I was so happy when I got this because my favorite color is red. I'm sure you all know that. And this is just a really good one. I really enjoy this. It doesn't smudge all over the place. It stays where you put it. And it looks really nice. And it's super red. Like, super red. And I only have one product left to talk about. And that is... This is the Cream Lip Stain from Sephora. Now, I love liquid lipsticks. They are my favorite things to wear. My favorite lip product to wear. It's like all I own. I have a few regular lipsticks, but I am a liquid lipstick girl. And this formula is so beautiful so pigmented not streaky i have a few other colors as well i got these crazy green colors this one is so pretty this is dark forest i believe that's what this one's called i can't even i just can't even start they don't dry out your lips they look beautiful all day long they don't crack on the inside i like to put them over a uh, lip liner they stay all day they stay pretty. You can put another layer on top if you need to after you get done eating or drinking something. And they still look so pretty. And they are hydrating. They are not drying. They are just probably, if not one of the best liquid lipstick formulas that I've tried, the best one that I've tried. And they're only $14 at Sephora. And they have tons of colors. Seriously. I didn't try them until I started working at Sephora, and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. That is my January... Oh, I'm sorry. There's like a glare going on because of my... My little skull. Melty. But that's my January and February favorites. Mainly my February favorites, but a lot of these I've been using since, like, Christmas beginning of January so I did want to include all of that like I said let me know guys if you want me to do more videos like this I am constantly trying new products all the time so I'd be more than happy to make a video talking about all the products that I use every month just to let you guys know what I think uh, let me know if you'd like me to do like a disappointments or my like least favorite products too I am gonna start recording my making of my Harley Quinn cosplay for Comic Con. Comic Con here in Denver is June 31st to July 2nd and I'm hoping that I can go all three days but I am going to start making my costume here soon. I'm super excited. I have been looking into custom order pieces. I've asked a few people on Etsy for some custom ordered stuff. I'm making the whole outfit myself with the help of my mom. And there's a few pieces like the Joker card necklace that I'm going to buy, the gloves that I want to buy from this beautiful glove maker on Etsy. And yeah, like I said, I was hoping that for one of the days I can mix together the Suicide Squad Harley and the Injustice Harley and make kind of my own version just for one day just to kind of mix it up a little bit. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of all that. I will be recording the whole process for my cosplay. And I hope you guys are interested in seeing that as well. But... What are you doing? I just woke up from a nap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the love recently. Thank you so much for your support. It just means the absolute world. And I really want to get my YouTube going. And I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. I'm so close. I'm um, like 150 away. So please share my videos, like my videos, do all that good stuff. It will mean the absolute world to me. I can't wait until I get to 10K. Thanks so much for watching, guys.